Today we're going to learn about precipitation reactions and we're also going to learn about acid-base reactions. All of these occur in water and they are double displacement reactions. What's the application? Well, pigments are used for uh, coloring paint, ink, plastics, cosmetics, foods, and other materials. In some cases, a pigment can be manufactured from a dye by precipitating a soluble dye with a metallic salt. So you see there are ap practical applications to these precipitation reactions. At the end of this podcast, you're going to see a video that is going to tell you a little bit about these uh, dyes, and we're going to visit a cool place. Double displacement reactions, as you recall, are A, B, plus C, D, they can be represented this way, yielding A, D, plus C, B. Notice that the A positive ion goes along with the negative ion of the second compound, and then the positive ion goes with the negative ion of the other. All right, so um, some of these reactions form precipitates, and we call those precipitation reactions. Some form water, and we call those, in general, acid-base reactions. And they start out with an acid and a base. So the reactants are acid and a base, and one of the products is water for the, this kind of reaction. So we have two possible types. Uh, however, both of these reactions have a couple of things in common. Um, number one, both must be, uh, both reactants, reactants, I'm not getting any better at this. <laughs> reactants, come on, pencil, work for me. Uh, both reactants uh, are uh, dissolved in water. Thank you. Okay. And uh, secondly, one product, one product. must be solid or L liquid. If both products, okay, let's write this down. If both products are dissolved in water, there is no reaction, okay? You must remember that. All right, we, before we plunge into uh, writing these double displacement reactions, we have to remember that ionic compounds are crystals. And remember, we talked about this crystal before. Sodium chloride uh, looks something like this. Uh, notice that they are um, the crystals. This is, uh, this is my Cl ion, and these are my Na ions, okay, the purple ones. Notice that the Cl ions are touching the Na Ions, and no positive ion, no Na ion is touching another Na ion, and no Cl negative ion. So this is the negative ion and the positive ion, and they cancel each other out because it's a one-to-one -one ratio. So this is NaCl. All right, so now, but when you take this crystal and place, put it in water, what happens is that each one of these ions breaks off from the crystal. Notice the Na plus ion has broken off, and the Cl ion has broken off, and they are surrounded by the water molecule. And one interesting thing is that they are surrounded in a, uh, different ways. Uh, notice that the, the, this is the Na, I'm sorry, the um, oxygen part of the molecule, and these two little ears, like Mickey Mouse, are the hydrogen. And notice the 
that the oxygen is actually touching the Na ions and they're surrounding it. Okay, and the reason being the oxygen is the negative side of the, this water molecule, and we'll talk about this uh, much later, uh, and this side is slightly more positive because it has the hydrogen ions. Uh, so uh, over here, we have uh, just the opposite. Look at the Mickey Mouse ears are going to be touching the Cl ion. So they surround them in different ways. The water molecules surround uh, each ion in a different um, uh, orientation. All right. So every single ionic compound has to be dissolved by water in order for, um, to, for it to dissolve in water. Basically, when it's dissolved in water, it's dissolved by the water molecules uh, surrounding it. So let's say that we have this compound, uh, this ionic compound. When we throw it in water, okay, we've got this ion, and we're going to throw it in this water right here. And as soon as we throw it in the water, here's what's going to happen. The barium ions are going to separate. But remember, we've got to look and see what the charge of it is, and we're, we're going to work backwards. And we know that this, too, came from the... Uh, barium 2 plus ion, so this is a uh, plus 2 ion, and uh, we know that the NO3 is uh, negatively charged because it's a poly ion, it's a polyatomic ion. But we know that for every one, one of these barium ions, we must have two of these. So we have to write another NO3 minus over here. So for every one of these, we have two of these. So uh, basically, we can represent it by writing uh, Ba2 plus plus 2 NO3 minuses. So I could take this reaction and um, write it this way, and this is uh, what I would call the ionic uh, equation for this separation. But there's one more thing I must write. These are now dissolved in water. Okay, AQ and AQ. Both dissolved in water, and this was originally a solid. All right? So precipitation reactions produce a precipitate. In order to know whether a given pair of dissolved ions for, will form a solid when mixed, we need to look at their solubilities. In other words, the solubilities of these um, ionic compounds. In other words, do they dissolve in water? Are they soluble? Will they form dissolved in water? Or will they form a solid? In that case, we have to look at the solubility table or the solubility chart. Hello, everybody. We're here inside the beautiful Salvador Dali Museum in St. Petersburg, Florida. And here on uh, display in the center of the building is a spiral. Uh, Dali was fascinated with spirals and note the geodesic dome uh, on top of the building. It is a gorgeous structure that is fluid and depicts some of his artwork. So why are we here? Well, because in this museum we're going to see paintings. 
And we're going to see beautiful paintings. And these paintings are made with chemicals, chemical compounds in combinations that um, involve pigments dissolved in uh, or suspended in certain uh, oils. And also, some solvents are added. And these solvents make the paints more glossy in nature. Uh, later on, I'm going to show you my favorite painting and you'll be able to see the beautiful colors created by these chemical compounds and their pigments.